Hi, so in this video today, we're going to compare the performance of Xcode on the M2 MacBook Air and the M1 MacBook Air. Now, both of these are 8 GB machines with 512 GB hard drive, so they're very comparable. The only difference, of course, is the processor and the cores. Uh, we're going to do three projects. First, you're going to do a Mac project between these two, and as you will see, it's not too much of a difference. It's a medium-sized Mac project with about 2,000 lines of code. Then we will build an app. And finally, we'll do a Swift UI project on the Xcode and see how much of a difference it makes because Canvas rendering typically takes a bit longer. And so it'll give us a good sense of the performance uh, gain that M2 gives you versus M1. Now, I have just uh, done a clean build folder on both the machines. So it's going to be a fresh build. And let's just get into it, right? So I'm going to press play on both of these. I'll try. I'm doing this manually, of course. I'm going to. So there might be a split second difference in the way I press them, but I'll try to do it as much as possible and go. So both of these are building, and uh, it's a fairly quick build, as you can see. And uh, as a matter of fact, the M1 is slightly faster. So I've done this test a couple of times, and surprisingly, M1 uh, in this instance has been faster consistently on a couple of times. Just a fractional faster, but a little faster. Maybe I'm pressing that button because um, it's, it's more within reach. But basically, you could say the same or the M1 here is. So that's a slightly surprising result. But now let's go ahead and do the app and see how that stacks out. Okay, on to the next project. This one is an app. Uh, again, it's between 2,000 to 3,000 lines of code. Let's just say 2,500 lines of code. It is, uh, again, set up. I've just done the clean build folder on both machines as well, so we are all set. It is set up on both machines to run the iPhone, um, uh, iPhone 14 Pro simulator, and the simulator is not currently running, so it'll come up cold, and we'll see which one is faster. So head-to-head, -head, let's see how they do. Again, I'm going to try and press both the play buttons at the same time to start the build, and let's go. So the building is starting, and let's see. And again, the M1 is fractionally faster. The simulator is coming up on both the machines. You can see it in the taskbar down here. I will actually just point to it so we see the progress. And they are pretty much the same, neck and neck, as you can see. This is the initial screen, so that has come up. Uh, the actual app is not started yet, so it starts cold. It takes a little longer first time. And yeah, I think it's it's a question of my pressing the uh, the play button slightly differently, but basically there is absolutely no difference between the M1 and the M4. Now, these are of course small projects, so I was not expecting a dramatic difference, and of course I didn't get the, uh, get that either. So here you go for about a 2,000 to 3,000 lines of code. Uh, this is written in Swift, uh, uh, by the way, and in Sprite Kit, so it's not very complicated. But for this project, if you're just doing small projects on on iOS um, and and uh, not using Swift UI. Um, Pretty comparable between the two. If anything, the M1 sometimes appears to be slightly faster. So that's test number two, and let's move on to number three. Okay, so now for the third test. In this one, we are gonna build a blank Swift UI project from scratch. Uh, I've called these, I've set them up so that you know we are on the new project screen. I've named them test twenty two on both screens, and I'm just gonna press next. And I think then I'll have to choose the uh, save destination. That's right, so I'm gonna just save it on the desktop in both cases, and just press create. And let's see how the M1 holds up this time. It's doing very well so far, I have to say. And go. Okay, so almost identical. The code is, of course, it's a blank project. The real test is in the canvas rendering because that tends to take a lot of time, even on the old machine. And uh, yeah, they are both coming up. Yeah, okay, in this instance, the M2 was fractionally faster. Again, not much to write him about. It's not very different, but it was fractionally faster in this one. So um, again, this is a blank project, and I expect as the project size increases, uh, obviously the difference would increase. But uh, the message is the same. If you generally do small, medium-sized projects, and frankly, it's not probably worth the upgrade for you, and you might as well pick an M1 at this point of time. Um, let's actually go ahead and run it as well on the uh, iPhone 14 Pro simulator on both machines. And let's press play, and the simulator will come up in a second. And it's coming up. Uh, let me just go with these simulators like this and like this. Yep, so fractionally faster on the M2. Again, I was not expecting anything dramatic for such a small project, but just to see how it goes. Yeah, so in this instance, clearly the M2 is faster. So it's a few seconds faster, noticeably faster. And of course, as the project size increases and the complexity increases, um, then it's going to be more and more different. So clearly, um, this is using Swift UI, which is a more later library. It's more intense. Uh, it's more resource heavy. The previous two projects were using SpriteKit, which is a very old library. It has not been updated in a while. Uh, they were using Swift, but they were not using the newer library. The newer libraries are heavier. They do a lot of uh, heavy lifting. So in this instance, we did see this difference. And of course, if you saw the difference in a small project, 
a blank project of SwiftUI, I, I expect that as the project size goes up, uh, the difference will add. But again, it's not gonna be significant, right? So I mean, if you do these kind of small hobby projects or, or even a small app or a medium-sized app, um, then yeah, you can get by with an M1 um, at any time of the day and it'll hold its own very well versus the M2. So that's the comparison between these two. Now, the reason to do these tests, of course, is that the M1 is still sold by Apple, right? So you can still buy, go out there and buy a new or a refurbished M1 Mac. And you know, the message is it's great value for money, unless you're doing some very, very heavy lifting. Now, I'm gonna do more videos on these two head-to-head -head comparisons. We are also gonna test it on the Android Studio. We're gonna test it on Excel and a few other things. So hang around, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see those. Um, but uh, that's it for today, and thanks for watching.